Hello everyone, this is Pop Potsy here, and today I am here with Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.10.0 Alpha Build 4. So, the Alpha Build 4 came out just today, just this morning, and um, they're calling it the Halloween update because it's Halloween. Nothing else special going on, so they may as well just throw it in there. Um, I'm on, an, on a Nexus 7 here, Google Nexus 7, you can see on the top of the screen, Asus Nexus 7. So, I'm going to go ahead and build a new world, it'll just be a random world. And we'll go ahead and talk about the changes real quickly and, and go over them. And if there's anything to show you, then I will show you the changes. So, first of all, though, your settings get reset every single time you update. I'm going to drag my sensitivity down just a wee bit. And then let's check on our render assistance. As you can see, it's on render one. Like, it's disgusting. So, um, all right. So, we'll go ahead and go through them. Only a few bug fixes and tweaks. So, I'll go in order. The bug fixes, the first one, is they actually fix all the black screen issues now. Hopefully, so it's kind of confusing that it actually fixed them all. Hopefully, but I guess I guess that's hopeful, right? I mean, that's what they say. So um, the next one will be fixed missing stencil shadows on many devices. So I'm not exactly sure what devices those were. They don't really list those kinds of details on the change log. I'll post the change log below in the description as well, so you guys can take a look yourselves if you'd like to. If there's anything else you'd like to see specifically or read through it yourself afterward, then that would be fun. The next thing would be removed black lines from torches and flowers on power VR devices, um, which probably looked kind of odd. They fix excessively close underwater fog with fancy disabled. Um, slope rails now have a correct hitbox, which is nice. So if you were to put a rail, for example, one of these on a slope like this, then they will have the correct hitbox, which means, for example, this one. If I, if I highlight this box right here, if I'm selecting it, you can see it's selecting the rail. Before that, it was doing a, it was selecting more than the rail, so it was really quite annoying. So it's good that they fixed that up real quickly before the final release of course. Um, they fixed the amount of dyes obtained from flowers. Uh, they fixed spawning in leaves. <laughs> that, that happened a lot of the time where you'd make a new world and you'd spawn inside of the leaves of a tree. I, I don't even know. That was that was a weird one. Um, they fixed the crash and corruption happening on app switch slash reset. So that was extremely annoying. If you were to go like this and switch to your multitasking by going out of the application, a lot of the time it would have this weird uh, crash. It would either crash the game or it would crash and then corrupt your world, which obviously is not something that should be happening and very frustrating for users who want to play the game. I hope none of you lost your worlds that you've had before. Hopefully you back them all up before you updated to the alpha build because a lot of the time weird things like this happen. Um, they also fixed a biggish memory leak on world creation. So I don't know if all of you noticed that, but there was a memory leak um, on the world creation. You can tell just by the way the world will generate. Things were just really weird and consuming a lot of memory and power. Um, they also now showing shadows on alpha stead tiles for glass blocks. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what that is exactly. We'll go to an inventory here. Oh, it also leaves. It, it includes leaves also, but if I were to pick this, you can see on the glass itself, um, it looks much better than it used to before. So I'm pretty happy that they cleaned that up for us real quick. Um, also, chickens don't have a black artifact under their head anymore, which is kind of sad because it was cute, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was weird. Let me find a chicken for you. Oh, uh, I can't remember which chicken it is. It, this, this one. Yes. Okay. Chicken. All right. So that's a baby chicken. It's kind of hard to see, but all right. So the black artifact, as they call it, was showing up underneath the chicken's head. It's no longer there. It would, sometimes it looks triangular. It would just be this weird darkish looking thing so they look much better now like a chicken should look i guess that's what chickens look like <laughs> um the brightness of the player in the armor inventory doesn't follow the in-world brightness anymore so basically i can't show you now because i can't go to my armor screen but if i could you would see that um your, your player would be really dark at night time for example because the world would be dark but they fixed that up for you so it would be this, the lightness of an inventory. So it'd be nice and easy to see no matter what time it is. There's only two more tweaks. Those were all bug fixes. The two tweaks are glass walls have again only one side as in PC. So that's good. And the game now limits its CPU usage when in the background, which is also good. So if I was to go ahead and go out of this application for a bit, 
go to my home screen, you know, then go back. Or if I was just to sit here and play something else or whatever, it's not going to be consuming a ton of CPU. As soon as you go back in the game, it'll start to suck the CPU once again. But it's nice to have the power consumption a little bit lower when Minecraft Pocket Edition is in the background. A lot of times people will play the game and go to Google Chrome real quick and make some searches. You don't want it totally ruining your device. I mean, not, not really ruining permanently, but I mean, it'd be slowing it down and everything. So that's all on this changelog, you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy Alpha Build 4. I think we are getting extremely close to the release of the official 0.10.0 version, which will come out on iOS and Android both. And it's looking very nice. I think since Alpha Build 1 all the way to here, it is such much way more polished game it's like crazy how much work they've done over just a few builds in like a week's time so thanks again i hope to see you guys soon on my videos and i will talk to you guys next time